And once again, we're here at the 10th Annual Pawtucket Film Festival with the producer, Mr. Rick Roth. And Rick, I just want to ask you what your favorite memory from the 10 years uh, would be. I know there's probably a lot to pick from. My favorites are actually the least attended show and the most attended show. The least attended show was on a terrible, rainy, awful night, and we had Chilean filmmaker Nelson uh, Cabrera here, and he was amazing. And we had just like this intimate conversation, very informal, and those of us, about six of us that were here, it was a really amazing night, actually. And then last night, the LA Orchestra was kind of the culmination of everything we've tried to do which is to uh, really put Pawtucket on the map as a artist-friendly, and, and not just say that, but a real artist-friendly place. And that's really what we've been looking for the whole time, that somebody that's you know usually paid thousands of dollars and flown all over the world would come to Pawtucket in their van, perform, and say it was an honor to play in Pawtucket. That was great. That was a great night. Now, speaking of Pawtucket, 10 years ago, you started this festival. So my question to you would be, why a film festival in Pawtucket? Well, actually, what happened was I came to move my business here, and I came to the Visitor Center where the Office for Economic Development is, and I went into the theater, and I said, oh, what's this theater? And it's beautiful. And they're like, well, we show Welcome to the Blackstone Valley during the day. And I was like, and what do you do at night? And they're like, basically nothing. And I was like, you're kidding me. <laughs> I said, uh, you're having an arts festival? Uh, let's have a film festival. <laughs> and um, so we started with two nights, and even though I was moving my business and everything, we... We uh, had um, a great start, and we kept doing it as an annual thing. I, I guess my other thought was I was kind of a working-class kid, and I went to college, and I had a um, teacher that just showed us all this experimental film, and the filmmakers came. And now I realize these films were like some of the most maybe inaccessible films you might call them ever made you know flicker films and Hollis Frampton who showed like an eight-hour film of you know cows eating grass and these structuralist films and you know with the filmmaker there and explaining it I was just fascinating and I guess I wanted to bring that same experience to other people that I feel like when you're given a gift you should give a gift back and so for me get people here so beer and music gets people here and then show films with the filmmaker here and they're going to get it and really they have and we've had the most outstanding question and answer things a couple filmmakers said that it was the best question and answers that they've ever had and these are like award-winning filmmakers we've had and I think when you expose people in an unpretentious atmosphere to things that are well crafted they will respond positively and that's what's happened always here.